All right, guys, <coughs> glad, glad y'all are here. We're gonna, we're gonna get started with our groundwork. I tell my students, your mule is never, ever, ever wrong. If, if something's not going the way you think it needs to go, it's because you need to change something. It's not the mule. Through that process, you build trust. It's not every day you run across a scene like this. Two brothers that have come to a ranch outside of Medina for help with what they think is their mule problem. But the man they're here to see has a different opinion about that. You see, Paul Garrison makes his living telling people that their problem is more about themselves than their mule. A big cross is what we're looking for. I train for the public, I, I start colts, I'll, I'll work on a mule that has uh, an issue of some kind, um, but most of what I do is training the owners. I, I, I help mules with people problems. Who's next? Go with him, push him forward. In Texas, you can find a horse trainer as easily as you can hit the broadside of a barn, but Paul Garrison is one of the few people around that specializes in mules. You gotta stay behind the drive line. You see, they require a different approach, which he's dubbed good mulemanship. Give him more lead rope, Will. Let him get further out. And if you can master it, good. then you'll have command of one of the smartest and most misunderstood animals around. They are very smart. Anybody that is fooled with horses and mules both will readily admit that the mule is smarter than a horse. Using a little computer jargon, what they don't have is a big processor. They're not going to multitask. Right. What you can do, and, and what, I, what I teach here a lot, keep that animal busy. Keep inputs going into him that will cause his feet to move, because the more he's thinking about what you're asking him to do, he, he, he doesn't have the processor to think about all that scary stuff out there. See ya! Let's dispel some of the rumors about mules. Okay. Stubborn as a mule, mm -hmm. guy that's a smart alecky know-it-all, we call a jackass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it all wrong, do we? Um, I think so, because I've been around enough of them to know that uh, if, if, they are, if they are introduced and trained right Step up. and have the trust in you, there's nothing they won't do. Good girl. Getting maligned, misjudged mules to learn the basics is just the first step at Paul's ranch. Once a mule and his owner are on the same page, they get to test out what they've learned by hitting the trails. We're, we're very, very fortunate to live in the hill country of Texas. This is the Edwards Plateau, uh, probably, if not, if not the heart, close to the heart of the, of the hill country. It's a wonderful place for, for mules. It, it's uh, because of the terrain and the, and the different natural obstacles and, and water. You make some room, get over, the, get over on the far edge. On the far edge. It, it's a great place to get them over any kind of inhibitions they might come with. <laughs> From scaling walls to climbing over rocky outcroppings, Paul's students learn to work together with their mules using his two biggest principles, a little trust and relaxation. If your mule's cool, you should be cool. When you sit in the saddle uh -huh. on a mule, it's just like taking a cord off of your light in the house and plugging it in the wall. That mule reads whatever emotion, whatever internal feelings, whatever you got going on in your life, that mule's gonna react to it. John, look up here, look up here. Your mule can see it, look up here. <laughs> part, of the, part of the teaching is yeah. relax. Yeah. Get rid of your baggage yeah. before you get yeah. on its back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, he can help you do it, but you, you, you've got to learn how to let go and relax and, and become, you know, just chilled. How does it make you feel when you teach somebody and oh, they get it? Very rewarding. Very rewarding. Yeah, I've, I've had, uh, bless their hearts, I've had, I've had lots of folks write wonderful reviews after they've come and spent two or three days with me. And, and uh, developed a much safer, uh, fulfilling relationship with their animal. See how well we can negotiate this step right here? 
It's no secret that the mule has been saddled with a bad reputation, but that's something Paul Garrison hopes he can change. And that all starts with showing people their intelligence, their kindness, all right. and their love. When you're, when you're up there on, on the back of your mule, and the two of you are, are communicating, and everything's going well, mm -hmm. how does that feel? It's, it, it feels like their, their feet are yours. Think about that, that, that black meal over there. I used him for, for years for starting colts. I, I, would, I would work the colt off of his back. And um, th those times can get pretty hairy. But he and I had have such a, a, a bond when, when I'm on his back. I don't have to steer him. All I can do is think where I need to be, and he's there. You're putting a lot of trust and a lot of faith in this animal that outweighs you many, many oh, yeah. times. When, when you've got the relationship right, you, you feel it. You, you, you know there's, there's no reason to be, there's no reason to be afraid. You, you, just, you just know it. It's like being with your best friend that's never betrayed you. Never. That's how close you can get with these guys. They, they'll really, really make a bond with you. <laughs>